Yo, what's up? Today we are gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make some sprite sheet animations. Um, I'm just gonna quickly make a box. Um, 1920 10A. That's kind of like a screen size. I'm just going to add a default shader to it. And let's get a texture for this sprite sheet. So I've got this cool video of Chris Roberts doing Switch Fit Manny. I'm going to copy this. This is only like five seconds long. I'm going to go to this YouTube video downloader. I'm going to convert it. I'm just going to get an mp4 video of it and download it. You'll see that it downloads and what I'm going to do is just drag it into here. Uh, I'm going to make this 1920 and you'll see it fills it out by 1080. I'm not going to have any algorithm on it and 30 frames per second. I'm not going to force the black hole or any of this. Uh, I can preview it and I'm just going to generate the sprite sheet. Okay, you'll see that there is a sprite sheet size that means it's successful. And I'm just going to drag this into Photoshop and I'm going to resize it to 512 and then crop it down. And I'm just going to quickly add a background and I'm going to save this uh, as a color with no mid maps, just a PC one. Now in Blender, I'm going to bring this texture in, and straight away you're not going to see anything. You're going to have to give this a cube projection, and then in UV editing. Uh, just select all and just go to res reset here in the UV menu and you'll see that it fills the whole tile this is what we want okay so now I'm going to embed that obviously and let's go and create a sprite sheet UV animation now I'm going to bring this out a bit because when you click on this, we're going to have a little screen down here with all of the details on it. You can probably see that there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 across. So I'm going to press 12 into the horizontal. And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, you can see that this all fills in. I'm going to select all. You can see that all of these selected. These four frames here are unused, so I'm going to just click on them to uh, deselect them. And this is all looking good. I'm going to press OK. Uh, when I press space to run the video, you'll see that the video is running in here. Uh, so yeah, this looks like it's going okay. It looks like it's running. So let's just uh, rename this. Uh, we'll convert it to a drawable and then we'll export that. Uh, now we need a clip dictionary for it and we're going to need the material which is just that default one that we did. Uh, we're going to make an animation and clip. The clip dictionary can be called whatever you want. So for the animation, I'm just going to keep calling it all that. There's the action. Um, the target is default. I could have just clicked on this. Uh, with the clip, hash the same. 
name dot clip create that select the anima animation uh, 140 divided by 30 okay now let's export this and I just quickly made remember to copy this into the clip dictionary name and for the flags we have UV anims and auto star okay we've got all those files I'm just going to put these into the stream folder and then I'm going to place it in code walker Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the wall here. I'm not going to be very sticky about it. There we go. And I'm going to save all this and generate a manifest. Now let's jump in the server. Okay, here we are in the server and ta-da! There is the sprite sheet animation working. Um, I think I put a low res one. Let's see if I can find a high res one. I upped the uh, resolution to 4K, and as you can see, it's pretty clear now from what we had before. Before was just a 1080p one. Uh, but yeah, there we go. It's nice and crisp. Uh, you can do this with a lot of uh, stuff. Just use your imagination but yeah that's the basis of how it works and yeah hope that helps anyway see you in the next one and yeah hit up the solemns or code discord if you have any questions about modding and stuff all right peace talk to you next time